Hello everyone, welcome to the review of Unit 7, Tinder Swindler. So to give you a summary of what we talked about in the preview, was about this Netflix documentary following this man Simon, or actually it's about this man Simon, mm -hmm. follows the story of the two Scandinavian women who were essentially duped and scammed by this man through Tinder, a dating application. And you know, it, it was seen as kind of a hunting ground for a lot of these predators to find people and convince them that they love them, mm -hmm. woo them, and all these other things that, well, some people might find, some women might be gullible to hmm. be tricked by Simon's story. Hunting ground. Hunting ground. Gullible. Gullible. He portrayed himself as a very rich businessman and traveled across the world and he concocted the story of basically enemies trying to come against him and his company. Mm -hmm. He was under threat and going to die or all these things and he needed emergency money and so these women shared or sent a lot of money to him and they essentially were totally scammed. They mm -hmm. never got any of it back and come to find out, you know, it was all a lie. And some of these women found out that he was actively dating other women simultaneously. Okay. Now, it's unknown how many women he scammed or was dating. We don't know the total number. Mm -hmm. But the documentary faces on or focuses on two women and uh, kind of their situation. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, these women said they felt you know heartless if they didn't help because they felt mm -hmm. like they were in a relationship. They right. couldn't leave him hanging. You know, they they cared for him. Some said they loved him. Uh, but, you know, some people think it's a you know, spectacular lie and, mm. and stories he told. But they're not alone because over a billion dollars in scams happens to, you know, romance schemes and couples mm -hmm. in America. Leave somebody hanging. Leave somebody hanging. Spectacular. Spectacular. And as long as there's kind of love and these romantic ideas and dating apps, mm -hmm. there's going to be plenty of people to scam. And right. those evil guys or women take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And they take money from people. So I wanted to kind of ask you, um, yes. you know, do you think it's possible to judge somebody from their online profile and image or online persona? I think it's practically impossible. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. I mean, first of all, you don't you don't have any idea who the person on the other end of the communication is it right. could be a man it could be a woman it could be a child it could be an adult right. you have no clue um, and people can pretend to be almost anything as long as they're hiding behind the internet right um, and then if you think about you know communicating with people you do know online you can't tell when somebody's sarcastic it's hard mm -hmm. to hear whether something's a joke or not I mean so much of, right. of meaning comes from like intonation and facial expressions and all of right. these things um, so it's hard to get you know to get an idea of somebody or what they're thinking even if you do know who the other person is yeah. it's hard enough doing it through writing um, but yeah if you don't know who the person is it could be anybody <laughs> right uh, that kind of reminds me of the term we had catfishing mm -hmm. uh, it still happens but the term where you know you would just misuse someone's photo or identity mm. and deceive them mm -hmm. that you're somebody else online right uh, that's a big issue and exactly what you're saying and even if you meet in person mm -hmm. It can be hard to yeah. judge correctly. And some people are really smooth and they can tell right. lies very easily. So. And like him, he was showing his wealth off. Like he did spend a lot of money on them. So mm -hmm. they thought he was legitimately rich, mm -hmm. but he apparently was using money from other women. So like a pyramid scheme? <laughs> <In a way. laughs> or you know, borrowing from woman A to pay for dates for woman B, uh -huh. and then woman C was helping with the other dates. Like Okay, it's the Ponzi scheme wow. of romance. <laughs> Yeah, um, I do encourage to watch it on Netflix. Um, it, it shows a, a crazy scheme. And mm -hmm. I don't think necessarily these women are very gullible because mm -hmm. it can be hard to judge just through yeah. an app uh, online when you first start to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, even meeting in person, everything just seemed to, they said, be confirmed. Mm -hmm. But he was just really good at putting on an act. Right. Yeah. So, the moral of the story is be careful who you friend or swipe online. True. <laughs> uh, but that's it for our review section. We'll see you on the next one.